Marcus Conti reporting. Every day you try to do, try to do one act of kindness. Just one random act of kindness. At least, even, even something as simple as feeding the birds, you know? They're very appreciative, right? They're out there all summer, all winter long, freezing their asses off. Uh, now food's abundant, but you know, you come out, you feed the, you feed the little critters, man, right? Act of kindness, that's what we need. Just once a day and don't tell anybody about it. <laughs> I'm just telling you about it because right, it's something that you can do and my, my telling you can amplify, can amplify that. So, talk about, uh, I was on a show today, I want to tell you about it, it was pretty good, man. The, uh, this is a quick video, National, the uh, Natural Progressive. We talked about issues that I know piss off a lot of people, uh, climate change, vegan stuff, uh, uh, extinction of the species. Wow, all stuff, right? By 2050, we might all be gone if it's true. If the facts are true, right? So we had, a, had an interesting talk with those folks. Um, it's a smaller channel, and it's growing, and it's, a, it's, it's on, you know, it's on message. Uh, that message. Right? And other stuff, too. We talk some politics. So it's about an hour-long conversation. Put the link down below if you want to check it out. And uh, maybe subscribe over there, say hello. Building bridges, not tearing them down. We're building bridges to our brothers on the other side and sisters. <laughs> so uh, that's all I really got today for that. So um, talk about the polls, right? Usually it takes a week, right? In my, in my view, right, when something happens, it usually takes a week for the news cycle to digest it completely. It's like a, it's like a, uh, it's like swallowing a like a, a a pile of garbage, right? It's like it's like this big pile of garbage. You swallow it, and it's got it takes about a week to pass all the way through until it comes out the other side. Right? So that's what we're, that's what we're talking about right now. So the, so Quinnipiac right puts out a poll on the Democratic uh, prime the primary debate. The first and the second one, they combined the whole thing. Okay. Who won? Who won the debate, right? In my view, I mean, I already did my assessment of what I saw. Now let's look at what the polls say, the fake polls. Fake polls. Quinnipiac, right, is the one that seems to be like the go-to poll. And what do they got? They got Joe Biden still leading at 22%. Shit said it's a lie. I think, I, I think it's total bullshit. The day before, they had Warren up by 20%. Now, they've got Biden up by... It's just, it's just, the polls don't matter. But it, it is interesting to to follow, to see who who the, the corporate entity is going to push. And it ain't Sanders and it ain't Warren. So let's, let's just look at, at, at what they have. They've got Biden at 22%. They've got Kamala Harris at 20%. Uh, Elizabeth Warren at 14. Bernie Sanders at 13. And Gabe, Gabe Pete Buttigieg, <laughs> Mayor, Mayor, Mayor Pete, at 4%. Right? And if you believe all that, see that bridge over there? That's a bridge in Brooklyn. I'll sell it to you. <laughs> you want to buy that bridge? I'm the owner. I, I own that bridge. I'm going to sell you that bridge if you believe those polls, right? All right so it is interesting. How did, how did, how did suddenly... I mean, there's some revealing facts about it. I do think that Camilla Harris made her mark because people like that race card. They like they like their race card. Oh yeah, she's the black. Fuck you, Joe White Biden. I'm voting for the black lady. Hey, who's the black lady? I like the black lady. You know, that's what it is, right? But is that enough to beat Trump? <laughs> <laughs> no way. You play that race card, Democrats, you lose. You lose. You back your shit sandwich, you lose. Joe Biden, not a chance in hell of beating Trump. Right. But those are the polls and those are the statistics that the establishment will lean on and convince you that that's what's going on. <laughs> Until next week. So the polls are going to continue to, 
continue to swing. But who is the who is the strongest candidate in the field? Who has the best ground ground game? Who has the the most um, you know the most volunteers on the ground? The the most uh, name brand recognition in terms of credentials? Who fills arenas of screaming young people? Who's got the young vote? That one person would be Bernie Sanders. Still. Who's right on all the policy? Who's leading the debate in the direction of progressive, you know, politics of single-payer health care for all, free college tuition at city and state universities, deletion of student debt, military-industrial complex, get rid of it, <laughs> break up big banks, break up big oil. That's one Bernie Sanders leading that charge. In 2016, he said that shit they left at him. Now it's like... Now it's, um, it's common knowledge that that's what the American people want, right? So it is interesting. I would have liked to see Tulsi Gabbard in that top five. Um, again, and I told you Beto O'Rourke felt like a rock. <laughs> Beto O'Rourke is gone. He's out. And um, so the next debate, they're going to be hanger-ons, though. Gillibrand, she's just going to get up there and keep talking. Now, there was also a controversy that that some of the candidates were saying that their mics got cut off. They were trying to talk, and, 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 and uh, NBC cut off their mic. Good. Good. That should be the rule. If you're not picked, your mic is off. Right? Have a board set up with all the mics, and just... And they're all off. And when you're asked to speak, they turn your mic on. And when you're done speaking, they turn your mic off. Right? Have a clock where everybody could see it. Fair, fair time. That's how you want to play it. Do it that way. Don't be disappointed that they shut your mic off while you're talking and someone else is talking. That's okay. You're talking over someone else talking. <laughs> so, I, I think the uh, there was I think uh, Andrew Yang made a point. Oh, I cut my mic off. I went to speak and I cut my mic off. So no Andrew Yang so far. We'll see. I mean, I got to do. They gotta, they gotta make game changers, and they can't just lean on the debate. Get out into the world, make a change, right? Do something, something to make us remember you, right? So that's all. That's all. That's all for now. There's nothing really breaking in the news right now. I'm just out on a walk. Still hot as hell in New York, man. I hate this shit, man. I wish it. Praying for the cold weather again. <laughs> Already. Marcus Conte reporting.